Amsam had always been fascinated by the stars and planets. He loved staring at the night sky, imagining rockets, space creatures, and strange worlds where everything worked upside down. One evening, as he flipped through his favorite space book, something caught his eye. It said that Venus spins backwards. That was all it took. Amsam's imagination was instantly launched into orbit. He closed his eyes and imagined flying through space in his trusty bubble-shaped spaceship. Past Earth, past Mars, and finally to Venus. The second planet from the sun, wrapped in thick golden clouds and glowing like a jewel. But something about Venus was different. While most planets spun in one direction, Venus spun the other way, as if it didn't get the message about how the rest of the solar system worked. In Amsum's imagination, all the planets were at a giant space dance party. Jupiter was twirling, Saturn was spinning with its rings, and Earth was doing a slow, graceful spin to the right. But Venus? Venus was that one dancer going left while everyone else turned right. Amsum giggled at the thought of Venus bumping into other planets at the cosmic disco. He started to think more seriously. Why would Venus do something so strange? Aum Sum remembered that all the planets were formed from the same spinning cloud of dust and gas. So originally, they were all supposed to spin in the same direction. What happened to Venus? One idea that popped into his head was a giant space crash. He imagined a huge asteroid, the size of a small moon, zooming through space and slamming into Venus. It might have flipped the whole planet around, or at least made it spin the opposite way. Huh? But Amsam knew there huh? were other possibilities, too. Venus didn't have a strong magnetic field like Earth, and its atmosphere was super thick, thicker than a hundred fluffy blankets. Maybe over millions of years, the heavy atmosphere created strong winds that slowed down Venus's rotation and eventually made it spin the other way. He pictured the atmosphere puffing and blowing like a powerful invisible fan, pushing Venus in reverse like a giant spinning top. With so many wild ideas swirling around, Aum Sum realized that scientists were still trying to figure out the exact reason. As Aum Sum's imaginary spaceship gently turned toward home, he smiled. The universe was full of strange surprises, and backward-spinning planets were just the beginning. He floated back to Earth, already dreaming about his next cosmic question. Hmm. Why is Venus so bright? The first reason is the Venus's proximity to the Sun. It averages only about 110 million kilometers away from the Sun. Secondly, Venus is blanketed by highly reflective clouds. The clouds in the atmosphere of Venus contain droplets of sulfuric acid, as well as acidic crystals suspended in a mixture of gases. Light bounces easily off the smooth surfaces of these spheres and crystals. Sunlight bouncing from these clouds is a big part of why Venus is so bright. <laughs> Why is Venus considered as Earth's twin? Venus is called as Earth's twin because of the following reasons. Firstly, Venus is almost the same size as Earth. Secondly, Venus and Earth have about the same mass, that is, they weigh about the same. Thirdly, Venus and Earth have a very similar composition, that is, they are made up of similar materials. Lastly, during the formation of the solar system, Venus and Earth formed close to each other and are now neighboring planets. Mm. Huh? Why is Venus called the morning star or evening star? When seen from Earth, Venus is the third brightest natural object in the sky after the sun and the moon. Ancient civilizations noticed that Venus was a regular feature either just huh? before dawn or just after dusk. Because of its striking visibility during these times, 
They associated it with the idea of a star heralding the arrival of the sun or accompanying its departure. Although Venus is a planet, its behavior and brightness earned it the nickname of a morning star or evening star in many cultures. Hmm.